Right, welcome back to Forest Talk. We're here to talk about the fact that we've actually signed a new player. Can you believe that? I can't either. We were linked with plenty of new names. We've only got Gaitan Wong available as our left back. So I urge you, quite frankly, to like this video out of pure sympathy. And the season is underway. First of all, though, I need to mention the fact that there's a little update about how I'm going to cover games next season. Now, I have mentioned this already on my Twitter, so go and follow that, at rads underscore 23, and my Instagram as well for any updates, plus general unfunny waffle over there. Go and do it. Why not? The update is, and it isn't even my fault, this, that streams are going to be basically non-existent as a result of Forest being rather dumb, which doesn't tend to happen very often. I don't know all the ins and outs, but the streaming platform, basically, they're only going to give you a stream to watch if you want to watch it, if it's a midweek game and it isn't on Sky or anything like that. So basically, that's going to be hardly at all, and I just don't really see the point. Oh yeah, and by the way, you have to be outside the UK to watch all the games. That only applies to people in the UK, which is where Nottingham Forest is based, believe it or not. So yeah, I just wanted to get that little dig in at Forest there. But more importantly, how it's going to affect the channel, I don't really see the point in doing streams if I'm going to do them like literally every few months, because I've worked it out. It would be like, if I was to do commentary today, which obviously by the time you're watching this, you know I haven't, it would be about three weeks before I do another one. Then it would be like a month after that, then another month. You know, it's I just don't really fancy just going that long between streams, to be honest. So I've got to rethink my away coverage. I'll be at the home games. Thankfully, I've got tickets literally right here for Bradford in the Cup. And I, I'm absolutely buzzing to go to that. So there should be a vlog for that on Thursday. Look forward to that. But yeah, that's the update over with. Let's talk about Forest. We've actually done a bit of business. Can you believe that? Philip Zinkenagel. And I love saying that name. We're going to call him Zink though, or Philip, or Phil. We'll call him one of those three. Name in the comments below, what should we all call Zink and Argel? Because we're not going to scream that every time he's throwing a goal, are we? He is a winger slash attacking midfielder on loan from Watford for the entire season. In half a season for Watford, he scored one goal and got five assists in 20 appearances, and he joined them in January. For his old club, on the screen right now, <laughs> 19 goals, 14 assists, and 28 appearances. Now, I know it's not all based off stats. We can reel off stats as much as you want, but that's pretty impressive on the surface, isn't it, really? I think it's really, really encouraging that since Dave Murphy has been appointed as our CEO, we're interested in players that clubs don't want to lose. Unlike a year ago, when we signed Harry Arter and Tyler Blackett from Reading and Bournemouth, they were dead wood at those clubs, so they came to our club and became Deadwood for us. Now we're linked with Zinkenagel, and just based off what Watford fans are saying online, they're not particularly happy with the fact that he's left, even on loan, so I'm finding that really encouraging. But overall, I'm so excited to see what Zinkenagel is gonna do. He's gonna wear a number 11 shirt, so that guarantees that he is not gonna be at the club next season, because look at our last three number 11s. It hasn't gone well for us. We have also sold a player. Tyler Blackett has joined FC Cincinnati in the MLS, a player that I don't think anyone's really going to be that upset about leaving. He did have a bit of bad luck, he had a lot of injuries, but overall I wasn't that impressed with him at all when he was at Forest, that's just my opinion. We sold him for free, which is a bit of concern, because I believe his contract wasn't up, so we must have released him and then sold him for free. Best of luck to Blackett, but there is a bit of an issue with that now. Gaitang Bong is our only remaining left back. Yeah. This is the same guy Tang Bong that was told to leave the club. So why is he still here? This does encourage me a little bit though, because are we really stupid enough to sell three of our four left backs and then not replace him? I mean, yeah, we probably are. I haven't thought about it, you know. We are linked with left backs. Doing from Hibs, like I mentioned before. If you want to hear a bit more about him, you can go and watch my previous episode of this. Also, Lee Buchanan. He's still kind of being linked with us, but that has died down, unfortunately, because I wouldn't have minded weakening Derby, you know, plus the fact he's a great player. Speaking of Derby, they can't even sell out on their first game back in 18 months. Pretty funny, that. Other players are being linked with James Garner. All right, James, yeah. Really? Oh, fantastic. Okay, when can you join? 
Brilliant, mate. Okay, well, I'll, I, you know, I'll put that through to Chris, and we'll get the deal signed. And you would just be able to sign permanently as well. Okay, I, I mean, I didn't expect you to say yes to that, but okay, fair enough, James. And there you have it, lads. If you didn't know, I am obviously one of the higher ups at Forest, and I have James Garner's phone number, of course. And he just rang me up, said, "Get that deal done, David." Other players are linked with Morgan Rogers. This one being from Manchester City. He is an attacking player on loan at Lincoln City last season. Obviously got to the playoff final in League One but lost to Blackpool. Obviously he would have played with Brennan Johnson. So he will know at least one name at Forest if he does join. He is valued at £9 million. I don't know if that's what Forest are really willing to pay. I do not see Forest spending that much on a 19 year old youngster. It could even be a permanent transfer this potentially. Get it done. Get it done. Why the hell not? Other than that, there isn't really anyone major we can mention in terms of transfers. But really, for me, we still need to sign a left back. That is just crying out for a left back, man. Come on, we know that. Right back, obviously we've got Jordan Gabriel there. And other than that, there's no one really. Richardson, I personally think, we probably will learn him out. Or maybe he could just be a backup. Jenkinson hasn't, he hasn't even got a squad number, you know. And speaking of squad numbers, they have also come out. The only real updates is Brennan Johnson is now on number 20. Jordan Gabriel is now number 27. There's also Nina Costa, who's got number 29. There's nothing major, really, in terms of squad numbers. However, it's worth pointing out we have not got a number 2, a number 5, a number 9. Is that, are they free for new players? Please say yes. One more thing as well. Our new third kit is released. And really, I look at Forest shirts and I very, very rarely hate them or dislike them. I tend to one would think, yeah, you know what? I might buy that. Um, I mean, I normally do buy it. But this one... I'm Don't... going to be sick. <laughs> I'm sorry. Okay, call me old-fashioned, but it's horrendous. That is what's been going on in the world of Nottingham Forest in the last week. If you have enjoyed this, please, at the very minimum, consider subscribing to the channel, like the video as well, and also follow my social medias. That would be brilliant if you could do that. And I'll see you very soon for another video, which should be on Tuesday.